So this is another video part of my Hidden Spots series and today we're exploring Sanginjaya. Sanginjaya is in the Setagaya ward in southwest Tokyo. It is only a 5 minute train ride away from Shibuya station yet it has a completely different atmosphere. It's a Kama old neighborhood in Tokyo and has a lot of interesting streets and unique shops. Today I'll be showing you one of my favorite cafes in this area, free views of Tokyo from up high, and also the hidden back alleys where you can enjoy the best local experience of Japanese drinking and eating. So are you guys ready to check out this area with me? The first place I went to was this coffee shop called Komeda Coffee. They have more than 400 branches across Japan and it is a very popular coffee shop amongst the locals so sometimes you might have to write your name down and wait a little before they call you. It has a comfortable atmosphere so it's a great place to come alone or with others. And when you come to Japan most places will give you this oshibori, a wet hand towel to wipe your hands before you eat. I get so used to this that I miss not getting it when I'm overseas. There is a lot to choose from but Komeda Coffee is famous for their sandwiches. The food sold here is also a very typical breakfast meal for Japanese. Their sweets and coffees are also very popular here. I wasn't too hungry so I decided to get the egg bun. And when you're ready to order just press the bell and they will come. Egg bun. Egg bun. So this is what it looked like. Komeda Coffee cuts up the egg and mixes it with Japanese mayonnaise which makes it taste really good and actually egg and mayonnaise is a typical filling in Japanese sandwiches. So now let's walk and go see the free view from the tallest tower in this area. Sanginjai has a few shopping streets where the locals go to do their everyday shopping. It has many different shops so it's very convenient to find what you're looking for. It's really interesting, the Japanese infrastructure is really different. And it's so cramped, all these little back alleys. They hardly have any gardens. So you know, what do the kids do? I mean, when I was a kid, I loved to play in the gardens. But then again, I'm from New Zealand, so that's all we had, like nature and all this stuff. Oh, the typhoon is coming. Look how windy this is. I personally love local areas, as you know, but I also want to show them to people, you know, because a lot of people, they don't know how to find it, especially if you're a tourist in Tokyo. I can see where I'm taking you guys now. So this is the building. It's free to see a view of Tokyo. It's completely free. Uh, but it's not so well known. It's called the Carrot Tower. I'm not quite sure why because it doesn't look like a carrot to me. Now we're in the building and we're going to go to the 26th floor. Now take the elevator to the 26th floor and the elevator should be pretty straightforward to find. So we are here on the 26th floor and thank god it's not raining because it's the typhoon season but ah uh, you probably ah uh, you can't see it's too bright right let me fix that when you first exit the elevator on your left you will see this view you can see shinjuku skyscrapers in the background and this is what it looks like when you first enter they have a lot of big windows for you to see the view a lot of people also buy lunch and bring it up to eat here. You can see the local neighborhoods and the city in the near distance. There are also affordable cafes here. And if you have a meal at this restaurant, you can enjoy the views of Sky Tree and Tokyo Tower. So near the tower we were just in, there is actually a cool little alleyway filled with small interesting restaurants and Japanese bars. That's so cool. These alleyways are called yokochos in Japanese and they can be found all over Japan. When you walk down these alleyways, it takes you back in time and it has an old traditional Japanese atmosphere to it. The shops here are smaller than average as it builds a cozy atmosphere for you and the other customers and the shop staff to be able to eat and have conversations. 
There are also some pretty interesting and hidden away shops, so go explore and see what you can find. The Yokocho I just showed you guys now is more of the, uh, what do you call it, like the standard one that most people would know. But the one I am at now is more for the locals who live in this area. And it looks like a lot of these shops have been going on, uh, have been running for a long time. A lot of them aren't open yet, but look how small they are. So at night these shops will be full of people and have a fun atmosphere and it's also a great way to experience drinking and eating like the locals. Also there are a lot of different kinds of foods for you to try out and eat. And I love how some shops you can just eat on the streets while everyone is walking past. So if you want to have a night out and drink and eat the locals way, definitely check this area out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Hidden Spots series and I will be doing much more of these. So if you're coming to Tokyo, I hope you can add more and more onto your list. And if you're not coming to Tokyo, I hope you can just see a different side of Tokyo. Um, so yeah, I hope to show more of those on my channel here. And people are kind of looking at me like a weirdo because I'm sitting on this swirly stairs and taking a video talking to my camera. Obviously, ah, ow, oh my god, the bug on me. Oh my god, oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. Holy, holy I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below about some other videos you guys would like to see me do. And I will see you in the next video.